Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Capricorn for the 16th through the 31st of October 2020, during the retrograde. Now, I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. These are the cards that I'm using. This is for... Capricorn for October 16th through the 31st, 2020. Let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> These cards have been pre-shuffled. This is a general reading, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Now, I've noticed in a lot of the readings that the readings are pretty wacky. So, during this retrograde, there's going to be some ups and downs. So, you know, just like I said, this is general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't manifest anything crazy, okay? This is for Capricorn for October 16th to the 31st, 2020. General energy is... Ooh, the Ace of Cups. This is nice. Okay, nice little start off. <laughs> so somebody is either bringing you a cup of love or you will be bringing somebody a cup of love. Okay, either way, love is in the air, right? <laughs> so let's find out what do we have first here for Capricorn. Uh, for, <clears throat> well, we got the tower, okay, could be dealing with the Scorpio, but let's see what else we got here, uh, all right, what else do we have here for Capricorn, for October, where are you, I saw you in there, Uh, this is for Capricorn for um, October 16th through the 31st, 2020. Capricorn, October 16th through the 31st, 2020. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands here. Okay, oh, well, first off, <laughs> we have the tower. Okay, so something is definitely coming down. Um, it doesn't have to be super drastic. Well, yeah, it probably is. Um, it's something, you know, it's like, it's. it almost seems like the world is crashing down around you, and it's like it's a free-for-all. Everybody is, like, taking off. It's a, all, all man, one man for themselves, or all men for themselves, or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't even know that saying, but... Um, it's not like y'all are there to help each other. Everybody's just running off, trying to get away, and they don't care about nobody but themselves, basically, right? But I do see here that you have been through a lot, right? You've been through some sort of uh, battle. And, uh, you know, you survived. You survived. You sur survived the battle, and you're still standing, and, 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 you're st and you're ready to take a new leap of faith in a different direction, okay? And, you know, yeah. Not not too not too shabby, okay. You know you're picking yourself up, and you're taking off, and you're you're taking a leap of faith into a different direction after this tower, right? Um, and what may have came down was something involving this uh, four of wands energy. You could have gotten into union with an individual, and the tower came down in regards to it, and you know you survived it. You made it through, <clears throat> and you made it through as a king, right? Uh, this could be your energy right here. You could be the king of wands. You know, this is how you survived it uh, somehow, right? And, and, you know, you were passionate. You survived as for winning or whatever it was. I don't know. Um, but you are going to be taking a leap of faith. And if that's not your energy, you may be taking a leap of faith here with a king of wands. Yeah. Okay. Now, I also see here we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and this is about not waiting, you know, some, you know, those seeds that you've planted are not going to grow, okay, because somebody didn't nurture a situation here. Somebody, somebody is wanting to take a leap of faith into a different direction, but they didn't nurture the seeds uh, that they were supposed to. 
they were being flighty, okay? Somebody here was being flighty, you know? And that's why the tower came down in regards to this union. Yeah, and that is the karm, well, karmic wheel of destiny right there. And, and it appears that there will be some sort of union in regards to this king of wands. Uh, he will be fighting for something after this tower, though. But he's going towards something that he did not nurture. And he's going in kind of blindly, you know, not, not knowing what has actually happened during these times of whatever, you know, has been happening. Because somebody has actually given up. Somebody has lost interest in this situation. And um, that may be the karma for this, uh, this king of wands here, you know. Because this person did not nurture the situation or uh, and showed no interest or, at all, you know. So, yeah, um, and this person pretty much walked away or, you know, didn't approach the um, wish fulfillment properly. And this is where this tower came in, right? Um, and they went somewhere else, I guess. And look, we got the King of Swords right here, too. So basically, the tower came down for in a soulmate union, right? So that's when the, the, the Wheel of Destiny, it turned, okay? And it turned... Um, and it, uh, basically, uh, shocked an individual and, you know, this person, they were really trying to fight with, with themselves, uh, to get through this. This, they actually, um, were able to conquer that, but, um, were unable to see the truth, right? Somebody was, you know, overly flighty too, and and was true was was not, uh, you know, dealing with this this uh, wish fulfillment energy in the proper manner, right? But I do see here this king who has no idea what's going on. It has finally came out of this hangman mode. Whoever this is, all right, you got to swap the energies. However, we got two people here, right? We got two individuals here. We have a king of wands and a king of swords that's fire and air okay you are the earth sign this could be you going through all these cycles in your life and um seven of swords yeah i didn't even notice this one there you guys so basically after this wheel of destiny turned you de decided that you didn't want to be dealing with any more um, deceptions, right? We got the seven of pentacles in the reverse and the seven of swords in the reverse. And then we have the king of swords here. All right. So the king of swords, definitely not a very deceptive individual and not willing to put any sort of time and efforts into any sort of deceptions. Okay. This person has pulled themselves out of the hangman mode because they don't, they didn't want to, uh, be in the hangman. This, these situations being in the seven of pentacles, being the seven of swords, uh, these situation kept him in the hangman mode. But now that they're in the reverse there, this person is no longer in that mode. Okay. So we could be talking about, these are your energies, uh, Capricorn. You could have fire and air in your chart. <clears throat> um, or you could be dealing with some individuals. Uh, this could be a family situation among siblings, a father and son. Um, there's also, you know, and it's not showing here who the, you know, the soulmate is, unless the soulmate is between these two individuals, this 1111 union, right? But I'm seeing here that a relationship has ended. This union has ended. That's where the tower came down. Maybe this person, no, no, no. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Oh, there, there. And I knew there was somebody somewhere. We have a queen of swords right here. So now I see that there is a couple. We got the queen of swords and we got the king of swords, right? When they make an appearance, they are here, 
right? This is a couple, okay? So we have this couple here we have, uh, that are in a situation that is, you know, it's longevity. They're married. They're together. This is together forever, right? But there was some juggling going on here, right? And this juggling could have been with that king of wands right there. The queen of swords could have been juggling with the king of wands, okay? And and the king of swords is thinking about competition now. This person has competition, you know, competition for the money, competition for something, for, you know. and But then some truth comes in, finds out, yes, somebody just cannot let go of a certain individual, all right? And they're trying to hold on, or they're trying to hold on to their money in this situation because this person doesn't want to be in it anymore, not when there's um, infidelity, right? And somebody here definitely thinking about somebody from the past who they, you know, maybe came up on, you know? They backstabbed that individual. They hurt that individual. And that kept them, you know, feeling trapped in their own mind because they're married. So somebody was deceiving another person. And look, back to the Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to, was deceiving a person and it was feeling the guilt from that and the terrible things they've done to this person from the past. And now they're struggling to, to hang on to whatever it is they have, maybe this memory or their money, because they're going to find out some bad news about uh, competition in regards to uh, somebody juggling and money is at stake here and the person juggling. Possibly this Queen of Swords. Juggling the King of Swords and the King of Wands. And this is where the King of Swords' world comes crumbling down because he thinks that this is a soulmate union to move forward. This is the one. And that's the karmic wheel of destiny at play. Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry, Bob. Yeah, Page of Cups. My bad. I said Ace of Cups again. Page of Cups. So, yeah. That's what I see. Some kind of craziness. Up and down action. You know, people doing good. And then people doing bad. And, oh my God, the Karmic Wheel of Destiny. And it's like, shoot, tower. You know. So, there's going to be some realizations here for sure. Right? Let me just put this up, right? Because that's where the Queen of Swords is. She's right there. Her husband's right there. And who was this guy? You know what I mean? Some people are not going to be too happy during this time because somebody has fallen for another individual, I think. And that individual is is married or already in a union with somebody else. You know, somebody is overstepping the boundaries, right? Yeah, I do see here, though, somebody is going to be taking a leap of faith, no longer putting into this uh, whatever seeds they've planted, no longer nurturing those seeds, no longer taking interest in this person's whereabouts, what they're doing, and no longer being stuck and stagnant here. Somebody here is moving on from this energy, right? Uh, no longer, because there is, there, you know, you're not even showing up here, so you are one of these people, uh... Capricorn, you're the King of Swords, the uh, King of Wands, or the Queen of Swords. I don't know. You got to put yourself where you feel you know it belongs. Because, but I do see aside from those people, somebody here is definitely um, going is is not dealing with this, and oops, is is definitely out of this hangman mode or whatever this is anymore. Yeah, I'm not dealing, not dealing with it. Mm -mm. So, you got a lot of lesson cards that came out. Let's see. So, first we have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So, maybe that's what you're going to need to do because you're making the wrong choices here, Capricorn. It's, it's leaving you in all kinds of karmic, uh, you know, lessons. You know, you haven't had enough of those. 
I'm telling you, it's going to be a tower moment after tower moment if you keep on doing whatever you think. Oh, it's fun. I want to never going to change. I'm never. Okay. All right. All right. And that's okay. But you will encounter some loneliness or you've, maybe you feel loneliness now or maybe you don't want to be lonely. But just know that you are never alone because you're always being watched. You're always, you know, your angels, your ancestors, spirit is always there watching you. If you think you're alone doing something shadier, you're not. You're being watched by spirit. If you're there and you've done something good for another individual and no one else saw, don't worry. Someone saw. Spirit saw. And you get karma for all these things that you do, whether it's good or bad. So just know you're never, uh, never, ever alone. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So see, you know, be grateful for what you have, you know. Uh, maybe you might not have a lot. Maybe you do. I don't know. Be grateful either way because you woke up this morning and you're taking a breath. <sighs> I'm here and I'm alive, right? Be grateful, you know. You can be grateful for just the littlest things like that breath of fresh air, you know what I'm saying? Success. I know that there is no greater goal than love. So maybe you're in all of these kind of karmic situations, tower after tower, because you are, your goal is just, I want to find love. I want to have that person. I want them to listen to me. I want them to do what I want. Well, you know, you can't make anybody do anything. You can control yourself. Yeah. You can control yourself and how you treat situations and how you react. But the success lies in a relationship where two people collaborate, two people, you know, compromise. They talk, they discuss. And that's where success is, is through communication. Yeah. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So maybe you've been grumpy, you haven't been happy lately, it's time to bring out that humor a little bit, bring that happiness back into your life, get those cheeks red again, rosy red, smiling, you know. It's time to bring humor, because maybe you've been stressed out a little bit too much lately. Look, growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So maybe you are going through some sort of growth right now, you know, like a growth spurt. And it's all going to happen during the retrograde tower moment and stuff, you know. But hey, take it as just a learning experience. It has to get really, really bad until it gets better. And it looks like it's going to get bad right at the beginning. But it'll get better. You know, you just got to ride the wave, man. <laughs> you just got to ride that wave. And, you know, if anything, just, you know, spend some time in nature. You know, enjoy the abundance of the earth and be grateful that you're out and free and breathing the free air and experiencing nature and the grass and the trees and, you know, everything. Just be grateful that you're out and you're free and that um, never, ever take that for granted, you know, your freedom and to do all these things and your freedom to breathe and be alive, you know. <clears throat> yeah. So if this resonated uh, with anyone, then uh, please go ahead and uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's, I would love that. And that's good for karma points, of course, right? Hey. Also, um, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. And, you know, one step at a time and everything is going to be okay. Show gratitude. Be grateful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.